Adelaide strikers won the toss and opt to bowl first. Thunder playing 11, Alex Hales, Usman Kawaja, Callum Ferguson, Alex Ross, Arjun Nair, Chris Morris, Daniel Sams, Jay Linton Chris Tremaine, Jono Cook, Brendan Dodgett. Strikers playing 11, Philip Salt, Jake Weatherald, Travis Head Alex Carey, Jonathan Wells, Matt Short, Michael Nesser, Rashid Khan, Peter Siddle, Wes Agar, Billy Stanlake. Thunder grasp late win to send strikers packing. Sydney Thunder continue their giant killing run in the BBL finals, sneaking past the strikers to set up a date against the stars at the MCG. A chance of Thunder? Men from the West win a final over Thriller as they upset a higher-placed home team for second time in three days to edge closer to an all-Sydney number BBL 09 decider the score. Sydney Thunder 7 to 151, Hales 59, Morris 21, Siddle 2 to 21, defeated the Adelaide Strikers 9 to 143, Wells 34, Carey 32, Sams 3 to 26 by eight runs. The fifth-placed Thunder knocked off a more fancied opponent in a do-or-die final once again, with BKT Golden Cap wearer Daniel Sams setting up the tensest of victories when he took two wickets in the penultimate over of the game and conceded just five runs. Chris Morris then removed the striker's final hope when the valiant Jono Wells, needing 13 off the final six balls of the innings with only tail-enders for company, edged the South African's first delivery behind. Chasing 152 to win, the hosts lost 3-2 in a dramatic late collapse before Chris Tremaine bowled four offside wides and conceded 16 off the third to last over to keep Adelaide in the game. The strikers had stuttered every time their run chase looked in the bag, but Sam's clutch death over took his figures to 3-26 from his four overs and saw his tournament wicket tally swell to 30 from 16 games. Aside from a late mishap in the field when 10 runs were required off three balls, Sams failed to attempt a high catch running from mid-wicket, it was a nerveless death performance from the Thunder's standout player of BBL 09. The strikers will rue throwing away what should have been a straightforward run chase, having been 3-115 to with more than fivers to go. Jono Cook Fresh off career best figures of 4-21 against the Hurricanes on Thursday having bagged the big scalps of Darcy Short and Matthew Wade, continued his superb run against some of the tournament's biggest names. Travis had a race to 32 off just 23 balls before he chopped on off Cook, who then removed Dangerman Rashid Khan for a second ball duck to finish with superb figures of 2-16 from his four overs. Alex Hales posted his fifth half century in eight innings to fire the thunder to what turned out to be a match-winning total. It was a typically power-packed knock from the broad-shouldered Englishman, who struck four sixes to the short square boundaries, but also had to pick his moments, as the Thunder lost Usman Kawaja and Callum Ferguson in the power play. He took a particular shining to paceman Wes Agar, who did manage to leave the Thunder opener doubled over in pain after blows to the upper thigh and midriff, as well as having an edge just drop just short of keeper carry. Hales, remarkably, faced 15 of Agar's first 18 legal deliveries, plus three wides, and blasted 40 runs off them to race to a 30-ball half-century. It sees him move to 568 runs at 40.57 for the tournament, 44 runs short of leading run scorer Marcus Stoinis, and the Thunder will have been delighted with his maiden season in Lyme, Green.The Thunder's victory is their second in three days against a higher-ranked team, and they'll need to repeat the dose when they face the top-placed Melbourne Stars at the MCG on Thursday night. Should they prevail, it will set up a mouth-watering all-Sydney decider against the Sixers at the SCG next Saturday. It's a disappointing finish to the season for the Strikers, who will rue the fact they lost their final regular season game of the season to miss out on second spot and the second chance. Caught in the crossfire <laughs>